Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. I have a little bit of happy mail to share with you. And I've been playing with dolls. Well, making dolls clothes anyway. Today is Sunday the 8th of August. Yes, I was supposed to have my big meeting today and start my refreshing new year as far as work goes. But that didn't happen. I set up for the meeting and before the guests could arrive, they called a lockdown. So everyone had to get home and do what they needed to do before 4 p.m. today as we go into lockdown for three days. Um, so we had to postpone the meeting, which was a little disappointing for me. We don't have many lockdowns here. It's very rare, so I can't really complain. Anyway, I got the happy mail earlier this week. I've just been too busy organising this meeting to share it with you. But I'll share it with you today. I'll just put my glasses on. So, here it's a little card. Can you see that? I'm sorry about the bad lighting. It's just the way it is. Lots of love. Dear Judy, here are some little note cards for you to use, made by a friend. Thanks for your YouTube videos and also the happy mail you sent me earlier this year. It really brightened my day. Take care, Suzanne or Susanna. So she sent me these lovely little cards and most of them are tea themed. Hmm, I wonder why. Look at this one. This one says, hello lovely. I really like that. That's lovely. They are just so gorgeous. This one is tea party. I hope, I don't know if that helps. Isn't that gorgeous? There was two like that with different colored ribbons. That one has a little green ribbon. envelopes this one is love is a warm cup of tea I strongly agree with that and this one is you are terrific they are gorgeous I think they're absolutely lovely and they did brighten my day at the beginning of the week and every time I look at them they make me smile so thank you Susanna for the cards it was uh, very kind of you you didn't have to I didn't do a lot of giveaways this year, or I haven't. I um, decided I would just, I read all the comments and I would just pick subscribers at random and send them some happy mail. And Susanna was one of them. She's in Western Australia. I have sent some surprise happy mail to USA and to Canada in this year. And yeah, I think it's nice to just pick a uh, subscriber at random, something they said or Something that hits a note and a chord with me that makes me think it'd be nice to send them some happy mail. So I'm glad she liked what she got. So, playing with dolls. This is Llama Ma Michaela's fault. Every time she posts the pictures of her dolls on Instagram, it makes me want to make dolls clothes or play with dolls. So I have been for a while. I started late June making some dolls clothes for charity. And I thought I'd share those with you. So I started with this one. This is Pansy Paradise. It's a bag of day tutorial. All tutorials and patterns, whatever I can, will be in the links in the description below in case you want to make them. This is an American Girl doll size. And it's made in Karen Simply Soft. This was in my stash. The button is slightly off center because I realized when I made it there was a bit of a defect in the yarn there and the button covers it up. So Pansy Paradise by Bag O' Day. Then I made another Bag O' Day. This is Little Doll on the Prairie, another American um, girl size doll. There's a tutorial. No, I'm not putting these in the bottle on because I certainly finished them before the 5th of July. These were finished in June. It's just that I've been making a few. I then went to All My Crochet. She has an American doll pattern and I made them in different size yarn. Now, I don't know what weight this is. This is in my scrap yarn and it came from my friend Janice in Victoria. It was left over. It is beautiful and soft, but this is her, her tutorial for American girl size doll. But because it's a finer yarn, it finished smaller. But there you have it. 
And then I made another one in the four weight yarn that she recommends and it turned out bigger, this one. Now, I can't make up my mind with this one to whether to leave the top plain or whether to put a butterfly button on it. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Does it need a bit of dressing up with the butterfly or should I just leave it plain like that? So that's all my crochet tutorial. I then went smaller and started making Barbie doll clothes. This is a vintage pattern I have for a Barbie doll evening gown. I can't help it. I change them every time so they all look a little different. This one I put this pink fluffy bottom on and neckline. I think she looks really lovely. This is made in Bella Tears which is a spotlight yarn that I really like, has a little glitter in it and I think it's perfect for an evening yarn. I have made it in different colours and I have sold them on my market store. I then got a little creative with my crochet and this is freehand, no real pattern. I made a cocktail dress for Barbie with a matching little scrunchie for her hair. Um, this, I don't even know what this sparkly yarn is. It's just scrap yarn from my stash. I made a cocktail dress for Barbie. I then decided I'd go smaller. I do have a little brat stole and I made brat stole dress. Now this is a pattern on Ravelry. I will leave a link to it. I can't remember what it is. I should have written it down. I have changed it. I put a bigger frill on the bottom. That was the second one I made. This is in Kringle Sparkly Spotlight Yarn Scraps. The first one I made was this one. And yes, I keep changing the bottom to make them look a little different. So I made two brat stoles dresses. And they were supposed to go in the mail tomorrow. I needed to get them away because I'm donating them to charity. And... Um, it's not going to happen for the next few days. Hopefully when I do send them, they don't arrive too late. I know um, Wings, Rose Lakes Crochet Wings in September, they're looking for dolls clothes in all sizes. So if you want to make some, there'll definitely be links for you to follow. Um, it is a lot of fun and it's a great way to use up your scrap yarn or some of your stash yarn that you've got no idea what you're going to use it for. The other thing is my friend Ulia... Um, knows that I've been looking at dolls clothes and I ran into her in a shopping mall earlier this week and she had this vintage dolls clothes pattern book for me to have a look at and try lend but not only that ta -da, on the back cover is vintage tea cozies yes I probably will try the tea cozies before I make more dolls clothes but it's a very old pattern book five patents two shillings God, that's before decimal currency a long time ago. But yeah, that was lovely. So that was me, playing with dolls clothes. And it is, it's quick, it's easy, maybe a little fiddly if you make brats clothes or Barbie doll clothes, but the American doll clothes are so easy. And I love um, the tutorials that are out there. Guys, that's it for me today. It's been a busy day, but I did want to do the video and I did want to thank Suzanne for her happy mail. So until next time, take care, stay safe. Remember, life's an adventure and you should have one crafty adventure every day. Bye for now.